guys welcome back before we start this video it is hot here i don't even know if scott's wearing pants and if that appeals to you subscribe <laughs> i think we lost subscribers What we're actually here for today is to talk about, I, I, we finally found something at Valley Village and on Marketplace. The well has yeah. been dry for months. We got lucky twice this week. Yeah, we also got lucky last week spending a lot of money at a pawn shop, but that's neither here nor there. I have a little bit of footage we're gonna roll here and there. I spent $50 on Facebook. Facebook Marketplace. Facebook Marketplace. Yep. I am fairly confident that what is in the bucket I can at least maybe close to triple my investment. I think I got some good value. So we're going to talk about those games right now. So you go get them. This whole lot was 37 games. I did mess up and say 34. 34 games for $50. Most of them are PS2 and a few, I think, PS3, Xbox 360 games. But most of them are PS2. But that's not my fault because that's what the guy said they were. They, he said there were 34 games. There were actually 37 games. They were in a bucket. They were in a sludge bucket of dirt. Like it was, no. When your games come in a bucket full of dirt, you have to use this many paper towels. Gross! And one movie, Marley and Me. These, these are the games we're keeping. These are the keepers in here. Seven games. So for 50 bucks. Here's what we got. We're not gonna talk about this one first because that's the best one. Oh, You probably sorry. already saw it. We got Ratchet Deadlocked. Yeah. PS2. About 20 bucks. Worth about 20 bucks. You wanna screw this name up? Rise of the Kasai. I'm gonna say it's Kasai. And that one's worth about 10-ish. Final Fantasy 12. And that one's worth about eight. But it's a Square Enix game. So. And it's been drilled into my head to keep Square Enix no. games. No. Yes. No. I'm pretty sure Lightsaber Samurai has been. No. Atlas or Treasure or even Working Designs. You're getting them mixed up. Next we have Innocent Life. Future, uh, Futuristic uh, Harvest Moon. Yeah. That one was what I saw in the original posting and I was like, oh, it's about 27 bucks. Swashbucklers, Blue versus Gray. Yeah. And our last one is another Ratchet and Clank game. Ratchet and Clank, going commando. Like Scott is right now. I'm not going commando. Do you want me to stand no? up? No. Keep the mystery. Keep the mystery. Anyway, that Splinter Cell Trilogy, remastered in high definition. This one's $45. Now you wouldn't think, because it's Splinter Cell, because there's 100,000 of them, the trilogies tend to go for more. On PS3. On PS3. If we just get our money, like get our money back from that Funny, trade. Yeah. Then we had got one hundred forty-six dollars worth of games for free. free. Yeah. yeah. Now, on to my story. Yes. Which was this morning. I don't know what possessed me to go to Value Village. All right, we're gonna try Value Village today. I don't know why I bother coming here, but I got nothing else to do today, so I'm gonna go see what I can get. Like I said, I don't know what possessed me to go to. I'm so happy you did. Value Village. Walked in there. Walked straight to the games, looked, first thing I seen, sitting on the top of the stack. You know the old saying that you can lead a horse to water but you can't make him drink? Well, Scott can hunt some good games, but he can't turn the camera the right way. Turn, turn the camera, Scott. Turn the camera. Never mind, go ahead and film it. You're gonna give that right away, right <laughs> off the bat? No, I'll save that. Save that one for the right. end. I'm only keeping two of these. Yeah. And then the rest of them we're gonna trade in. The reason why we're trying to trade all this stuff in, there's a game I want, it goes for about 110 bucks. I don't have a whole lot of DS games, so I have, I picked up this one here. I think it's because it's damn, I think it's the Edge of Tomorrow, a big sticker on top yes. of it. Not a very expensive game, but I don't have a whole lot of DS games in my library. And this one on top is also the one I'm keeping. Yes. Samurai Jack, the Shadow of... Aku. Aku? Sure. sure. And bless you. <laughs> <laughs> now it's not complete and it's God, I wish it was. Missing they cut the damn cover Who the art fuck in half. Does that? So I was just uh taking Samurai Jack out of the 
the, the cover out of the box so I could clean everything. And we were wrong. It does have the back on it. What kind of monster folds something over and doesn't show the back? Well, that just went up in price. The disc is actually in pretty good shape. Um, there's no deep scratches. There's no top, no top scratches. scratches. Now, had it's, this been complete, if it had been complete, you're looking at $110, but we priced it loose. So, loose, bucks. it's $25. Yep. Now, the rest of these, they're going to be traders. This one here is not worth that much. That one's a $10 game. Yep. It's another GameCube game, Meet the Robinsons. Now, this next one's about a $30 game. You got Super Monkey Ball 2. One of the best wrestling games, in my opinion. Shut your mouth. Is SmackDown Shut Your Mouth on the PS2. This was sitting on the top of the stack. And I was like, holy crap, there's no way. All I seen on the side was the $6.99. I was like, it's got to be $66.99. Yeah. I just can't see the other six. I just came out of Value Village. I think I scored pretty damn good. Um, I don't know what possessed me to come to Value Village today because I don't normally do that. Um, I'll wait till I get to the car. I didn't really take much of a video inside, but I'm going to wait till I get in the car and I'll show you what I got. Folklore on the PS3. Yeah. Which goes for... $81. $81. $6.99. I know why somebody messed up because there's the old sticker. I yeah. do believe that's the parlor sticker. That looks like the parlor sticker. Old parlor sticker. And uh, it was on for six dollars Oh, and man. It is absolutely freaking lootly mint. That one would have been going in the collection. But we have one already. We also have plans to hit a yard sale, possibly two yard sales in the morning. So. Maybe we'll get lucky again. Maybe we'll get lucky and it'll get added into this video. We don't At know. At the end, yeah. We'll see. So just a quick update about what we did end up picking up at the pawn shop with our trade value. So we did have to shell out about $60 in cash and they didn't take every game. And the plans for the games that they didn't take is to actually go and drop it off at one of our favorite uh, pawn shops, thrift stores, and just say, hey, listen, if you can sell these, fill your boots. There's 23 games. Um, some of them are scratched more than the pawn shop would like, but they're PS2 games. So more often than not, they'll just buff right out. So we have Sukadin on the PlayStation 1. I gave away the best one right off the bat. Apparently I've never made a YouTube video before. Persona 4 on the PlayStation 2. And to continue with the Sukadin theme, number three on the PlayStation 2. And we also picked up Killer7. Now, if you'd like to play Killer7, this is probably the way to go because the GameCube one is super hella expensive. So yeah, those are the pickups. We didn't find anything at garage sales. In fact, at a garage sale, they charged us $10 for a game only to find out we were missing two discs, went back to give them the game back, and they didn't want to give us our money back. But I was like, well, we don't want anything else here. That was the only thing we found. So if I could please have my $10 back. So they begrudgingly gave it back. But yeah, this is a quick tip. Always check the cases before you buy anything, especially at a garage. Yeah. But uh, yeah, let us know what you think about this, guys. Um, we don't get lucky on this sort of stuff often. Let Never. us share with us Never. what you've picked up. <laughs> we love seeing that. We'll hate you a little bit, yeah. but we'll also be very happy for you. I was so blown away after I picked these up. The automatic colors, it, you'll never guess what I just picked up for $6.99. Folklore. You can see, I know why they priced it, what they priced it at, because you can see the sticker on the top. It was a $9.95 game at one point. I paid $6.99 today. It was literally on the top of the stack. I blew my mind. Called Jen, she looked it up on price charting and I think it's still complete. It goes for over 80 bucks. That's the fun thing about doing this hobby together, that you mm -hmm. automatically have somebody to share your excitement with. Excitement with. If you're a solo creator, if you don't have anybody in your life that's like really excited about games that's as much the, as you are. That's what the community's for. That's what the community's for. So yep. uh, I, that's exactly what I was gonna say. So just to recap, here are all the games we ended up getting for $150. Uh, with the trade, what we spent over what we had actually had for trade value and uh, everything else. So yeah, the entire lot of games here you see before you is just over $500.
And yeah, I, I'm really happy. I'm really happy with what we picked up, but let us know in the comments. Do you guys think it's worth it? Do you think we're crazy for spending that much? I'd love to know what you guys think. Until next time, game on. Keep hunting. Keep hunting, but not where we live. Ha, ha, ha.